Hey guys, how goes it? So uh, today, obviously the again the thumbnail gives it away. We're we're gonna be going over a very I don't want to say rare, but I'm gonna say it's rare because I I've barely seen this um, before. So this is from the Lost World uh, toy line. So here it is. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Actually, this is one of the things I've gotten. It came with a two-back bag. Okay, here's the real deal of why I got this. And let's back it up just a tiny bit so you can see. This is the Lost World plush. I think it's called Jurassic Junior or Bendosaur or something like that. Uh, Mementosaurus. Yes, it's a Mementosaur. Not a Brachiosaurus, which is funny because that's how I found it on eBay. Uh, I saw, I was going through eBay, looking through stuff, just looking at random products like as I usually do. And this came up, and I said, oh, no way. I was like, there's no way in hell this is real. For $16, I got these two. Especially, the I, I bought it in a heartbeat because of the, the Mementi store. Again, I'm sorry for stuttering. <laughs> but I'm excited about this. This thing is so freaking cool. Again, also, I think it's pretty rare because I barely see people have it in their collections. And I, I don't know how much it goes for usually. Uh, last time I saw a listing for it was like 60 to 80 bucks. That was with all the tags and such, uh, but there was no tags on here. This is just came how it is. It's actually not bad. The neck still pretty bendable. So here we'll start off with the head. Thank okay, you. Look at that. Look at look at that cute little derpy face. I love it. I really like this pattern. Like I, I wish they'd bring this back with other Jurassic toys. It kind of looks almost like leopard or like like cheetah kind of spots. Um, you can see it's, it's, it's like printed on this fabric and sewn together. Okay, go down the legs. Again, the legs. These don't bend. But I, yeah, yeah, the legs don't bend there. They're just stuffed. Super, like, actually pretty thickly stuffed. And whatnot. Here's the JP logo to prove it's real. Um, obviously it doesn't say say B, but unfortunately it looks like someone took the tag off, but the tag did say Jurassic Park, or sorry, it did say The Lost World. Jurassic Park and the tail does not, actually, I think the bendy wire... I think it starts right here because I know the neck you can bend the neck in different positions and whatnot because when I got this thing he was all bent out of shape <laughs> yeah, pun intended um in the back side I kind of sort of straighten them out but heck yeah this is so so darn cool I'm absolutely loving this I'm so happy I got it for a really good price I know I should not have pulled the trigger on it because you know money wise and whatnot but you know I'll be fine this is not a big deal this is a hobby right yeah, <laughs> so I thought this was pretty pretty darn cool. I had to get this again. My Menchie Saurus, you barely see this. I believe there were, I think, one other Menchie Saur in that toy line. It came with a Nick Van Owen character. I'm not sure if it was fully released or not, but I think the packaging did say it was uh, being under the baby Brachiosaurus hatchling, but it was clearly Menchie Saur the way it was, the way it looked. Um, and also, I believe Mattel is coming out with the uh life size well, well not life size but huge huge mementosaurus just like how we had the brachiosaurus the apatosaurus and the dreadnoughtus all three of those do not have i would love the dreadnoughtus honestly out of all of them i know brachiosaurus is iconic but i would love the dreadnoughtus out of all of them because it's just so darn huge and so cool and I, I, I like collecting the, the random weird looking dinosaurs versus the ones you see constantly, like every Velociraptor, even though I think I counted last time and I had about 40 something Velociraptors in my collection that was not even intended. But anyways, so yeah, I'm just so happy about this Mementosaurus. This is so cool. Again, this is hard to find and, and yes, it's a plushie. I don't collect plushie as much. Uh, but I will do a video on all the Jurassic plushies I do have just because why not? It's part of the whole whole thing whole spiel with the collection videos but again let's go over the little buddy it came with the little stegosaurus now i had the bigger version of this that has the plastic head uh, again i'll go over that in, in a different video of all the plushies together uh whatnot but heck yeah it doesn't look too bad again it's got a little cute little derby looking face it's got the eye pressing on it. that looks really huge actually uh, i mean the head's kind of pointy kind of like dorito but if you like ignore the, this part like if you don't see that actually it looks really darn cool i like how the uh plates up top you know it almost kind of looks like well, well wood i know it's not wood but like the way it looks like it looks like wood to me of course the jp logo on the back um the tail sort of bends like there's not really much bending features in this one as much uh, at least as far as i don't think i don't feel anything no guess another bend here's the stego thega, yeah the <laughs> thagomizers uh on the back here they're all kind of squished but again it's a little tiny plush it's okay okay here's the underbelly again i love this printing i wish they'd bring this back with some stuff again no bending here but 
this is really darn cool. And again, I, I'm happy it came with two. So I felt like it was a pretty good price for both of these, honestly. And just the Memento Source alone is so darn cool. Again, I know I showed you guys uh, that one video when I went over that map. I had the uh, the Memento Source on there um, and whatnot and everything. I just feel like there's not enough love for this for this this guy. You know what I mean? Like again, we saw it in Lost World. The guy on the motorcycle bike just drove underneath the legs and all that stuff. And obviously, when I was a kid, I didn't know what it was. I just, oh, cool, long neck. And in my head thinking, Brontosaurus, because that's, you know, kid. That's the only little dinosaur I knew besides Brachiosaurus was that. <laughs> but uh, uh, obviously, I do love this. I, I couldn't help it. I know, I'm sorry, I'm stammering and stuttering and whatnot. This is just me talking about how awesome some toys can be. And also, nothing can be the 90s for their toys, especially this. This is so darn cool. Mattel, if you're listening, I know... You're all focused on the plasticky stuff. I know you have some plushes out there. Well, at least I don't know if they're from Mattel. But if any other toy company out there could seriously bring back this kind of style, like the whole printed on, um, whatnot, like kind of pattern or whatever, versus just like the standard plushies. Some of them don't look bad. Don't get me wrong. I got, I got a couple. Like I think I have a Camp Cretaceous T-Rex. That actually looks pretty good and whatnot. But uh, yeah, again, we'll go over all the, the plushies I have in my future plushie video collection again. Not my biggest thing I collect, but it kind of came to be. Plus, if it's Jurassic Park, you know I'm going to take it. You know darn well it's going to go in the collection. <laughs> but anyway, so with that being said, uh, hope you guys take care, be excellent to each other, and I will give you a cool little video at the end of me doing some close-up shots on these two dinosaurs. So again, take care and be excellent to each other.